Learning Support is a program designed by the Board of Regents that serves to build and refresh the skills of students who might need extra preparation before tackling college-level coursework. All students who enter the college are required to have an evaluation of their skill level in English, math, and reading. For most students, this evaluation is done with a standardized entrance exam called the Compass. Based on your scores from this exam, you have been placed into the college's learning support program, which means you will have a class schedule designed specifically for your needs. The main factor in this program is specialized coursework. Each student is evaluated in the areas of English, math, and reading. And for those students who are determined to need additional skill building prior to taking college courses, there are several classes available for this. There is one learning support English class, English 99, one learning support reading class, Reading 98, and two learning support math classes, an entry level course, Math 97, and an exit level Math 98 class. Depending on your individual placement, it is possible for you to be placed in any combination of learning support and college level classes. All learning support courses are institutional credit. In other words, the courses will count towards full-time or part-time status, as well as towards financial aid calculations. However, learning support classes are not reflected in your GPA. While the learning support courses are not directly used for graduation purposes, exemption or exit from learning support is required for all of GPC's degree programs. In this way, you have the benefit of additional skill building offered by the Learning Support Program, allowing you to find greater success in all the classes you take and in your education. Depending on your placement test scores, you may also be required to take Higher Education Seminar, HEADS 1011. This class is designed to build additional skills for your college success, providing an opportunity to navigate college life and connect to GPC programs, services, students, faculty, and staff. If required, the HEADS 1011 class should be taken in your first semester, and it must be taken before you register for any college-level classes. All of these courses are a part of the Learning Support Program's mission, which is to ensure your success in college courses. Remember, these classes are here to help you. To complete the Learning Support Program, you will be required to exit out of each Learning Support area in which you have been placed. Exiting from a Learning Support area requires passing the course and passing a standardized exit exam. Once exited from the Learning Support Program, you will agree that the skills and information you have acquired will be the foundation for your continued success throughout your college career. You will find that there are a number of rules that apply to you as a learning support student, and the first one you will encounter is that you will have registration controls on your records. Because you must register for your learning support courses every semester you remain in the program, registration controls ensure that you register for your required coursework. This allows the focus of your education to be on building your skills until you complete your learning support requirements. Once you have registered for all required learning support courses, you may register for some college-level coursework as long as you meet the requirements to take that class. For example, a student who has only a learning support math requirement can't take college-level math or sciences, but is eligible to take a college-level social science course. Keep in mind, though, that if you only register for part of your learning support requirements, for example, if you placed into Learning Support English and Reading, but decide to take only reading, then you are limited in what classes you can take. A student in only part of their Learning Support requirements can register for physical education activity courses like tennis or swimming and the HEADS 1011 class, but not other college level courses. Because the priority for Learning Support is the completion of the program, you cannot accumulate more than 30 college credits without exiting the Learning Support Program. In addition to this, you will be withdrawn from any college-level courses if you are withdrawn before the midpoint of the semester from a required Learning Support course. This is so that you can concentrate on exiting the Learning Support Program since that will ensure you are well prepared for the majority of your college classes. Additionally, being in Learning Support means you must be advised every semester you are in the program. 
Learning Support Advisement is done in your Learning Support classes, but if you miss the in-class advisement, you can always receive the advisement through advising, counseling, and retention services. This advisement is to let you know about the Learning Support rules and regulations, to make sure you keep on track with the program, to offer you a chance to ask questions about the program, and to let us make you aware if there are any changes to the rules that could affect you. To ensure that you get advisement each semester, a Learning Support Advisement Hold will be placed on your records that blocks registration. Once you receive advisement, the hold is lifted for that semester. Possible grades for Learning Support students are the passing grades of A, B, and C, and the non-passing grades of F, W, WF, and IP. Earning a passing grade in LS English, Reading, or in Math 98 will make you eligible to take the Exit Compass Test. If you are in Math 97, you will be eligible to take Math 98 in the next semester. Earning a non-passing grade will require you to repeat the course. You are probably familiar with the grades of A, B, C, and F, but the other grades may be less familiar. A grade of WF means you withdrew after the midpoint of the semester, and an IP means that you made insufficient progress in the class to earn a passing grade. A grade of W means you were withdrawn from your course before the midpoint of the semester. Withdrawals are typically done by the student, but they can also be done by Learning Support English or Reading instructors if you violate the attendance policy of those classes. Either way, a withdrawal is in your best interest if you find yourself struggling with either the coursework or attendance to the class. To exit an area when you are in the exit level course in mathematics or in learning support English or reading, you must pass a class to be able to take the exit exam. If you are in learning support English, you must pass a class to be able to take the writing sample. For the writing sample, you write two essays which are evaluated by a team of English professors. If one of your essays is passed by this group, you will be eligible to take the exit exam. For all learning support classes, students eligible to take the exit exam in an area will have two tries to pass a compass, and if you pass it on either try, then you will exit that learning support area. However, if you pass a course but not the exit exam, you will have to repeat the course. In certain cases, students in Math 98 are exempt from taking the exit exam. If you meet, or are exempt from the college preparatory curriculum requirements from high school, and if you have an SAT or ACT test score on record with the college above a certain level, you will use that test score to exit from learning support once you pass the class. Your instructor will inform you if you meet the criteria for exemption during your class. It is also possible to early exit in learning support mathematics. If you are in entry-level mathematics and earn an A, you will be able to sit for the exit exam. When eligible for early exit, if you pass the exit exam, you exit that learning support area without taking the upper level course. If you do not pass the exit exam, you move on to the upper level course as normal. Once you have exited from learning support mathematics, you are eligible to take college level mathematics. However, you must be exited from both learning support English and learning support reading to be able to take college level English. As a student in learning support, you have a limited number of times you can take your learning support classes. Again, the priority is to exit learning support and have your skills built or refreshed for college success. To this end, you are only allowed three attempts in mathematics, two in English, and two in reading. An attempt is any time you complete a course with a grade other than a W. So, if you test into the lower level of mathematics and pass all of your required coursework and exams, you will exit Learning Support Mathematics with two attempts. If you use all your guaranteed attempts in a Learning Support area and do not exit, you will be placed on Learning Support Exclusion from the last semester you completed coursework. Learning Support Exclusion is for one year and is for all schools in the University System of Georgia. Students who demonstrate ability by exiting learning support with valid exit test scores and course credit may be readmitted to the college before the year is up. As you can see, there are a lot of rules in the learning support program. 
If you have any questions or if anything is unclear or if you just don't remember a particular rule, feel free to ask your instructor or the student records advisor in advising, counseling, and retention services. These advisors work with the learning support program every day and can address your concerns. The important thing is to know that the Learning Support Program is here to help you reach your goal of college success.